The creation of the Bundaberg Distillery is really a collection of mates coming together and creating what we call a collective genius. The distillery as we sit here today is on the same site as it was 120 years ago when it was founded. Now when I think of it, I think of seven mates sitting in a bar. They have this great idea. Let's use the molasses, a byproduct of the sugar refining process, and make rum. That was the first sort of gem of an idea, an idea which was actually we could go into making a spirit. Um, and over that time, you know, from 1885, um, they, then, uh, they then decided, you know, some three years later to actually, uh, you know, create um, what we know today as the Bundaberg Distilling Company. It was born out of the cane fields and out of that really strong male tradition of Queenslanders. And it, that's never died. That, that has lived right through the years of Bundaberg Rum. About 99% of all of our volume is drunk in Australia. That small amount that goes overseas is exported for Australians abroad. If you think about Queensland, Queensland represents about 50% of our volume here in Australia. It's its provenance, it's where it's born, and, and there is, it, it takes its name Bundaberg Rum. It, it's not a brand that is made up um, with an artificial name, it actually takes the name of a, of a region in Australia. And Bundaberg, again, it, that's where it's born, so it is a very important part of its history. The word Bundy um, evolved through Aussie culture, really. Um, you know, I think uh, Aussies are great at um, you know, basically shorthanding everything. I've got so many mates and their nickname ends in Y. You know, so Green is my last name, you know, I'm Greeny. It's the typical vernacular. It's been born from its consumers and that's the name that the consumer has actually shortened it to. There's been a great history um, between Bundaberg Rum and the Australian Armed Forces. There was one of our forefathers that decided that we should give a year's worth of supply to the Australian troops as they went to South Africa. And I think that created a, a, great, a great relationship um, over time um, that saw us go to you know, World War I and World War II with the troops um, and be part of the, you know, the end of the day. Um, part of those troops' rations um, and, you know, essentially a great legacy for us to think about how we continue. Fire in 1907 was a frightening time for the Bundaberg Distilling Company. There were two fires that have devastated the distillery over time uh, and, and one of them was actually from a lightning strike and at that time all the rum was put into uh, very close proximity to each other and that lightning actually lit up the whole distillery and burnt it to the ground. As much as everyone tried to do to try and put that fire out, realistically, they just had to stand and watch the distillery burn down. At that point in time, obviously, the question is, do we go again? The company had to be rebuilt, and it was the values of not letting a disaster like that destroy the company that has lived through the ages and lived through the values of Bundaberg Rum. It really shows that Aussie character, that true spirit of Australia that says, we will be there, we will go after it, and we will make it great again. The ability to overcome, you know, not, not one depression, but two. Not, you know, a flood, but, you know, many. Not one fire, but two, you know. And, and it was about getting that back out on the market as quickly as possible. So it's a very important feature that, from devastation, that this brand was rebuilt and got back on its feet, and from nothing, and from a disaster, from a lightning strike, and from a fire that devastated it, we rebuilt the, the brand got the product back on the shelf and it is where it is today because of some of that fortitude. In 89, for the first time, we see rum being made, about 23,000 gallons of rum. Today, when we look back 120 years on and about 6 million litres per year of rum, we stand here proud as the, as the bearers of the Bundaberg Distilling Company. Queensland, that's where we started. We're rural producers. We had put sheep to the world and sugar cane was a very important part of, of our history. So you can have no more historical um, product than to be born out of what was naturally grown in the ground. This sense of collective um, ingeniousness is timeless and that we, you know, we continue to um, bring that to life and do that through communities. So continue to be one of the players in the community um, that brings value um, and, and creates a sense of fun, a sense of enjoyment um, that having a Bundy often does.